What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video, and in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock and what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to break down why under the Neo right now does look like it has some potential to push up even more, especially if Nasdaq and Tesla do get a bit of a bounce. But there are some other important factors that will affect the market that you need to be prepared for as we have important earnings coming out. We have another big catalyst for this week. We also have very important data to look at for NEO as I give you guys my price prediction for tomorrow. Now, before I break anything down about NEO, before I talk about why on earth I still believe it can push up if it does get the boost it needs, before I talk about any of this, I have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Take none of this as financial advice whatsoever. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire NEO community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below, and deposit any amount of money into the account, you're guaranteed up to 12 free stocks, each worth up to $3,000. And the best part is, any could be a free Tesla share, a free NEO share. Or a mix of all of them it's a limited time offer the offer ends today so check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video neo is actually down about 0.08 percent for the day basically closed flat however despite that we have a pretty nice looking setup as of right now this is resembling uh, we have a very very nice daily looking candle with the wick underneath and we are actually fighting that 11.8 dollar level of resistance this actually slowed neo down quite a bit but i do believe we could try to break it very soon because when you look at spy for instance this looks bullish if you look at the macd we're still wide open we are going to likely continue to push breaking down or i'm sorry breaking above the resistance trend line but as i mentioned in my previous videos i don't expect this to last forever i do think that once we break this trend line, we're going to get hit by a very strong resistance between 402 and 406. And I do believe that's going to slow us down. And I do believe we could see a big reversal around this zone and we could see the market start to tank. I'm going to show you exactly why again, some other things to look at and how that will affect NEO. You also have to remember that the NASDAQ also affects how NEO moves, believe it or not. I do believe this thing is going to pump a little bit more. It's going to be pumped by Apple, most likely, maybe Tesla as well. And I can see the QQQ pushing up. It's about that 283 to 284 level, maybe a little bit higher. It really could get there, and that in turn could actually help NEO. But before we get into more details about why on earth that could happen, I need to talk about what's going on in the markets. We have earnings this week. Okay, it's going to be very important. We have Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley. We have other big banks, Signature Bank, United Airlines, all reporting earnings tomorrow. And we want to see how the banks do. So far, they're doing a little bit better than expected. If the trend continues, now it could be bullish for the markets. But historically, during times like this, it is unlikely they're going to do much better than expected. And it's once we start to see more of the earnings, especially like Netflix on Thursday, things could really change. We have Netflix on Thursday. Once again, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are all, all coming out tomorrow. And we actually have Tesla, I think, next week. So it's going to be very interesting. Now, the U.S. is also going to hit its debt limit. And when this happens, the financial chaos during a time like this could lead to lots of uncertainty in the financial systems and the credit market. I'm saying this because this chaos that's caused by this could slow down the stock market. It has in the past. There was a year where this caused the market to drop pretty hard. There were many other years where it happened as well, but there was also a year where it did not happen. So there's no guarantees, but I do believe this is not the best of things during a time like this. So as far as NEO goes, uh, if you look at the price pairs ratio, it's picking up like, like this. That's a good sign. This is a sign that we're starting to see more and more people buying into NEO. It's starting to outperform SPY, looking pretty decent. We also got a hold rating from uh, China Renaissance. Once again, a pretty nice catalyst. More analysts are giving it some attention. And as far as its daily seasonality goes, Tuesdays tend to be one of the most bullish days. 55% of the time we're green. For Wednesdays, it's also 55%. But then the remainder days of the week tend to be a little bit slower. So Tuesday being one of the strongest days historically, I do think it's more likely for Neo to try to push up. And also, I just want to note that even though Neo 
uh, ended up missing on its previous earnings. This actually came out in November. They missed on earnings per share, but they beat on revenue. When this happened, okay, the CEO told us that, look, even though this happened, we're going to try to push for much, much more deliveries. And we're going to try to get 43 to 48,000. They ended up getting 40,000. And that was after some adjustments in China with the whole lockdowns and things like that. And they still did well. I mean, 40,000 deliveries in a quarter is still phenomenal. And I do believe Neo is going to get closer and closer to the 200,000 delivery mark per year. They may be able to achieve that maybe this year, or at least they'll most likely get closer to it, in my opinion. It's very possible. Now, I also want to break down the fact that Neo is doing much better fundamentally. And even though the share price is at this low value, I want to note that we still have this gap down here in the tens so we have this rising wedge like pattern if we break below this that's going to be a very bearish sign remember these are actually bearish setups and i do believe neo is going to come down later but before that before this thing starts breaking down there could be room for more upside so far we're holding this trend line we're around this 11.8 i believe we're going to try to break 11.8 i think spy is going to break past 4000 the nasdaq's going to push more and go for its historic gap fill but i did draw this out on nasdaq just to remind you guys we do have a potential head and shoulders like formation forming on the nasdaq daily on the weekly let me see if it's you could quite clearly see it on the weekly as well so there is going to likely be more downside for a lot of the tech sectors from apple to tesla to neo coming up before it comes we might see some more of a push up first the Nasdaq, in my opinion, is going to push up a little more, go for the gap fill up here. This is likely going to be pumped by Apple. Maybe Tesla will play a bit of a role. It also depends on the news. Tesla has been going for the gap fill. See the gap right here? I think Tesla is going to get this gap fill. It's going to push up a bit and then basically kind of chop as the day goes on, in my opinion. Maybe try to push up higher, but we'll just have to wait and see if that's the case, okay? If, if Tesla could pu push up and, and the market does push up more, which I believe it will, I think Neo has a very good chance at breaking this 11.8 level. And once she breaks it, I believe Neo could go for 12 and maybe push a little higher than 12. We have a very important kind of like chop zone between 12 and 11, I'm sorry, 12 and 13.18. We tend to chomp back and forth here in the past. So I'm not saying we're going to go back there, but we could enter that zone again. And we could see Neo start fighting around the 12s. I think it's going to push for 12. I think that's what the stock wants. But if we break below this trend line and we start pushing down, then that could invalidate what I'm saying. So please watch this trend line very carefully. You just got to connect these different support levels. And until now, We've been basically re respecting it. So I do believe that's going to likely continue. But I want to see Neo get a nice break and break past $12. I believe Neo could do it, but we need some more time to see if that could happen. Anyways, that's what I have for this video for tomorrow. And let me actually do this before I end the video. On an hourly basis, Neo tends to push up during the first 30 ish minutes. We tend to see some stronger price action. Then we slow down. Then we get stronger by the third to fourth hours of the day. And then until the second to last hour, that's when we tend to slow down. So let me try to put this into perspective for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we could see Neo in the like very beginning of the day. She might be a little slow like this. She might even come down and maybe retest the trend line, get a nice bounce, start pushing back to this 11 level maybe break it as the day goes on go to 12 maybe the market keeps pumping nasdaq keeps pumping neo gets to the 12s then we slow down as the day goes on and then during power hour we try to push a little bit and we see this thing close very close to the low 12s for example that's like what this price action is kind of suggesting we could see an example of it right here you could see neo came down in the morning one of these days gets a push up as the day goes on slows down a bit and it gets a final big push same thing happened right here where neo comes down in the morning right just like how i mentioned it could come down retest the trend line then get a bounce well it happened two times in a row we come down we push up a little bit slow down a bit then we get a final push at the end of the day that could happen again 
Neo might come down to retest the trend line, then get a nice bounce and then push above $12. I want to see that for tomorrow. Anyways, thank you all for listening. If Neo fails and this thing ends up breaking below the trend line, if bad news comes out or whatever, then it could invalidate what I just said. But until then, it's going to most likely respect this rising wedge like pattern. Like I said before, thank you for listening. Neo is still an amazing stock. Neo to the moon because the long term future is still incredibly bright. And peace out.